I struggled with suicidal thoughts from about six years old. I remember one time I was on a chairlift. I live in Wisconsin, so we do a lot of skiing um, on garbage dumps, small hills, but I was going up the chairlift and it's pretty high. And I had this thought, I'm like, you know what? Today's the day I'm gonna jump off this ski hill and I'm high enough down, I bet you that I can, pro I bet you I can die. And I'm going up the chairlift all by myself and I heard this voice that told me, you can't die, you have something you have to do. Throughout my life, through drinking, building businesses, I would make my life so chaotic because I knew that I was getting away. I was like tempting God or testing God, like this calling that was on my life and I wasn't listening to it. So I would take all the drugs, I would tell all the lies, I would just completely destroy everything in my life because I knew it wasn't time until one day I knew it was time. So I'm a comeback in this current form, we've only helped 13,000 people. And I say only because there's a, I don't know, three, four million people a year that struggle with alcohol use disorder. I'm not even counting drugs or any stuff, but I believe this is bigger. But I've known that there was a calling on my life to do something far greater and far more significant than any other business, any other career that potential that I've had.